final boss. Not save you. Hey, he's in his oh, old classic comic book pose. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here my big head ass white John Lee on the ones and twos and this is We Ain't Seen The Reactions. The place where we react to everything that we ain't never seen. And if you read by the title, you already know what time it is, man. It's time to go ahead and grab up them sighs, the katanas, nunchaku, the staff, and react to some more TMNT 2012. Last time, it was all fun and games, man. Well, not too much fun and games, but a little fun because we I saw our no boy. Remembrance. Well, I think the last one we saw was uh, Baxter Stockman, but before we saw that one, we saw Mikey's new friend, Chris Bradford, which is like this expert martial artist who looked like he was bitten by radioactive Chuck Norris. He had the broad shoulders and shit like that. He had a similar build to the dude that we saw at the beginning looking like, um, classic shredder except he ain't have like the blades on his shoulders he just had the helmet which just so happened to be shaped like the dude's normal head you know what i'm saying and that's how we was able to put two and two together that chris bradford and shredder's number one apprentice were one and the same you know what i'm saying so mikey after he discovered that he got kidnapped by um chris bradford and a black dude i believe his name was ever or something like that if you don't remember and you know they was able to overcome that shit and then in the next episode we met baxter baxter stockman the black dude who had the rinky dink science equipment who was all bitter and shit because his job had laid him off because he didn't do something right i forgot he didn't put the stapler on right or something and somebody just got all pissy at him and stuff and decided to lay him off so he had a chip on his shoulder literally had a chip on his shoulder because this advanced military chip that donnie found that he originally put in the damn mp3 player for mikey ended up on baxter stopman and the ai kept advancing and shit until it just advanced baxter stopman's equipment and he became this super terminator mofo that was ever evolving ever changing all kinds of shit man yeah it's it's been a fun show man i'm liking all the different references and stuff like that like all these classic characters i would like for you to press tape. play because i have to pee why didn't you pee before we because got up in here uh oh. Niggas already fighting people, man. Keep moving. Don't let him surround you. Failure is not an option. Technically, failure is always an option. You know what else is an option? Slapping you. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like what you want to do to me sometimes. I don't know these people. Mm. Are you kidding? <laughs> what you trying to say, man? You got the best weapon. When we're done here, there's a you had the best That's range. The best weapon. He got the best range on all the 2D side scrolling TMNT games. Everybody will pick Dunn. That ain't the best weapon up in here. He got a blade, a retractable blade up into this one. Don't tell me I'm going to let them roll that out and pretend yep. I don't see it. Everyone stand your ground. Ep epic presentation, man. Damn AC that came on. Turn, mm -hmm. damn it. You the one who turned it down. What? It was hot earlier. Wow. Now that was just devil's luck right there. Why do y'all let the things run away? Dumb luck. Wasn't luck, my friend. And dumb had nothing to do with it. Hey, give me a hand with this. A hand with what? Well, looks, Spike. Donnie got another stick to break. Mm. With all due respect, Sensei, I can't keep fighting alien technology with a six-foot staff. I was hoping to upgrade my weapon. Mm. A seven-foot staff. Interesting. <laughs> you know, I meant using Eat man technology. style. Ah, a solar-powered staff. I'm serious, Sensei. I know, and yes. How tall are the turtles supposed to be? That's totally unfair. They're usually about you four feet. Sensei. Wait, did you say yes? In the original, we're five feet at the tallest. Five, I think five feet at the tallest. Because with this technology, I will be invincible. What should I make? Electric size? Multi shot shuriken? I don't even think we're nothing the same now. Boy, and it'd be the little simple games. They'd be so serious. That's how you do it right there. 
Damn, you gotta be so disrespectful with it, money. What's up? I set up a message. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. People send in pics, videos. I also get some stuff that may help us track the crime and find my dad. April, think about this. It could be dangerous. You know what else could be dangerous? Standing between me and my father. Mm -mm. <laughs> She's trying to say. Shoot, you better not do that. I think this ain't this episode called Metalhead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a toy named Metalhead. I think it's based off of that character, a toy. I think he was in the old oh, '80s show too. Didn't you just defeat Baxter Stockman? That's what I'm saying. Like this nigga. Come on now, dude. Oh shit! It looks just like the toy. Metalhead. Yeah, Except it was more chrome. What is this thing? Gentlemen. And Raphael, this is the future of ninjutsu. <laughs> Why is it so short? I always thought the future of ninjutsu would be taller. Right? Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. Gucci, Gucci, go. Bitch! A little Voltron on your ass. Come on, man. This is being a good way to collect the mutagen to the point of perfection. Come on, now. they always gotta bump into something. You could have caught that too. What was that which made the clanking noise? Right. I have found that which made the clanking noise. I will find whatever made that clanking noise before we go to commercial break. I'm ninja. I'm ninja. Go ninja, go ninja, go. <laughs> Of this shit. Oh wow. I'm thinking you trying to leave and escape. Right? <laughs> Sounds like he tilted his head like the disrespect. It takes the whole point out of being a ninja. It's exactly the point of being a ninja. We adapt. Now watch this. Attack the drone. Give it all you got. Uh, you sure? I don't want to break your toe. I do. <laughs> oh shit, going turbo. Sponsored by Mad Cats. <laughs> yes. The game play here. Counter! Get his ass. Hey. You got motion controls? Let's go. Clank, 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 clank. Got that chrome digital white armor, man. I ain't finna penetrate that. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like he was on the freeway with that. Now when they start beating your ass too, don't say nothing. Right. This thing, I'm invincible. Nigga, what is ninja about that? Right. Clank, clank, clink, clank. <laughs> Woo! Should we double back? I think there's a car alarm we didn't set off. Let me guess it's gonna have like a little bus stop sign that come up. Oh, come on, you guys are just jealous. Because you're out there in the cold, and I'm here eating Mikey's last slice of pizza. Hey! Ow! <laughs> you guys, quiet. Somebody's coming. <laughs> wow. April! Guys, I was just... That thing finna jump down and of destroy course. the damn road. He's probably gonna land through the ground. Wow. He landed up in there with Baxter Stockman. <laughs> Terrible idea. So it's stealthier than the real Donatello. Damn. <laughs> what is that? It's Donnie's latest brilliant creation. Metalhead. Such name, huh? My idea. Ready to bash some box? Destroy some droids? Clean some closets? What? I guess. Uh, I meant to say crush some crank. Let's get it, man. Shit. 
They never tried to take the actual crane out, though. Right. They just let it run away. Eee. That looks so weird. <laughs> that you? Wow. Mm. Did you just make a Pac-Man sound effect? It sounded like it did. <laughs> Yeah, like she can't even hear his gears turning anytime he does that shit. On this monitor, she can't tell I'm staring. You do know that's not muted, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. And it was muted. You couldn't hear me joking. Wow. Man, I know she bought that. That's the megaphone. I know. Nigga. So how do you think the fight's going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going real good. <laughs> Let me guess. It's gonna be something that they need done that only uh, Donnie and his stick could do. Yeah. And he won't be there to do it. Hey. I don't know, man. What if the crane take over Metal Hand? That's what I think is gonna happen. No. Sorry. Nigga, get an instruction manual. And he the one who made it. And he That's what's wrong with gaming now. They don't come with instructions anymore, man. They sure don't. They come with a little slip of paper and shit. <laughs> Bot masters. <laughs> Rocket punch. <laughs> Yach. Take. That little stupid brain that just popped out is gonna take over. Oh. Ah. You dumb dumb. Oh wow, his antenna's broke. Can he control it? No. Nope. God damn it. I lost the control signal. What's that crane doing? Of course, what I thought. I like he how said, I just... I'm gonna try again. Right. Guys, you can hear me. He just closed his eyes like. <laughs> get you a stick, preferably a broomstick, and get out there. You can get the seven foot one instead of the six foot one if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. See, man, that ain't the truth. I don't tell nobody to say. Give him everything you've got. Just kill the damn thing. Why don't they just stab the crane? I think it's not it's not PG enough. Yeah, it's not kid friendly enough. Hey, the UK is more sensitive than us when it comes to Ninja Turtles. I don't even want it. They censored Mikey's weapons in the UK. And Leo's. They censored nunchucks? Yes, because they're afraid kids are going to use them or make their own. Have they not seen children? They're going to do whatever they want. Rocket punch. A kid would go get a stick and try to use it. Please just pack this thing upside the head. That kind of look cool like it's like got dreads or something. Not again. No, I don't. A little slow ass. I guess. He's trying to get the thing to fall. On. Yeah. That's a strong stick. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Nice job, bro. Way to go, Donnie. Yeah, not bad. Except for that part where you built the thing in the first place. <laughs> right. And the part where it broke. And the part where it tried to kill us. And the part. Okay, I get it. Listen to me, Donatello. This was all my fault, Sensei. You are responsible, yes. Yeah. 
Responsible for destroying the mutagen? Responsible for saving the people of the city? Responsible for defeating advanced technology using only right. ingenuity, bravery, Even though you caused the problem, the you also fixed it. Thanks, Sensei. Maybe you're right. I am. I guess with proper training, there's nothing better than a wooden stick. Except the laser guided <laughs> missile launching wooden stick. I know. <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, man. Guys, that was episode six titled Metalhead. Oh, that was a really good episode, man. That really just took me back to my childhood because I do remember that character named Metalhead. I think he was in one of the games, too. So it wasn't a turtle? Yeah, it was an actual turtle. It looked just like that. Like, even a toy. Only thing that was different about the toy, it was just more chromed out and shit like that. It looked very, like, flashy looking. Mm. But yeah, man, I see that they're just going to be diving in the well of all the different turtle lore and stuff like that, man. Uh, I really like how they're just focusing on each turtle and somehow, some kind of way they are able to kind of give like a little um, prelude or kind of like a hint at what this episode is going to be about. Like that little episode that um, my boy Leo always watches Every the show. Every time he watches one of those, that's what the episode ends up being about, yeah. Right, right, yeah. But I also like... Um, how this one, even though it does try to stay true to the TMNT formula, it isn't trying to just ride the coattails of all the nostalgia that we got from the 80s series and even the 03 series. Because in the uh, 80s, when all of them had a crush on April, you know what I'm saying? He, especially Mikey, he stayed trying to tap on some April, man. But the only one who's really just crushing on April like that is Donnie, you know, which is kind of surprising. It's a little bit out of the norm, but I appreciate that, man. It's bringing something new to the table, you know. It's like all the turtles just aren't just horn dogs to just fantasize over April because she's the only girl in the damn show, <laughs> you know. Right? That was. Ugh. Yeah, because shit, you remember in the 2014 movie, the live action movie, Michael was trying to damn near smash April all the time. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, he just wanted to stick his whatever up in April. I don't know if he has reproductive organs. Do the turtles? If, I'm, if I recall correctly, the creator said they don't, they can't reproduce, you know, because they're mutants. And that's why they shouldn't have a girl on the team. But I think they bring a girl on the team in the comics book later. They did up in like 1998 or 99, like when they came out with a live action TV show. It was done by the same people that did Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. And I heard one of the creators was not happy about that in the slightest. But Saban was like, no, you guys have to have a girl on the team because that balances it out. You know, that makes girls want to watch the show either. Girls don't give a fuck about a female turtle. I'm sorry. I, they just don't. They just like the turtles. I would rather not see a female turtle. Yeah, especially you're going to try to just ruin the fucking origin and stuff. Don't get me started on that. Like, they literally just said, oh, these guys. Because they tried to make sense that the girl was like the long lost turtle. And that by proxy would make them siblings. And it was like, oh no, we're not related. We're just pet top turtles and shit like that. But that's besides the point, man. So what was her name? Mona Lisa? Um, no, it was, um, I think they have a character named Mona Lisa. She's like a lizard or something. But no, her name was uh, Venus or something like that. And she was from China. But she's supposed to be a shinobi when shinobis are supposed to be Japanese ninja. You know, so it didn't make any sense in the slightest. Yeah, it didn't sound like it did. But this episode was pretty good. It's kind of like, our, well... It's not, I wasn't quite right because I was like, well, in a way I was because I was like, yeah, they're going to need uh, Donnie's stick specifically and yeah. he's not going to be there, but he did eventually come and he used his stick to help to kill the damn thing he created. It's like, right. don't be out there creating stupid shit, y'all. Yeah, man. You know, Donnie, like I say, he was always the most effective character to use in all the side scroller beat em up games, you know, because he had the reach. Everybody else didn't have a reach like Dunny got, so he can poke all the different enemies and do different stuff like that. I can't wait to play up on, um, uh, what's that game, uh, TMNT Shredder's Revenge, the newest game that came out. Mm -hmm. You know, it just sold over a million copies, by the way, which it probably be not sold more by the time this go up on YouTube. But yeah, I can't wait to play that game, play with some Dunny, man. It's a side scroller, too. Yeah, it's like in a classic 8-bit style. Kind of like that Scott Pilgrim game that I be playing. I think it's made from the same people as Scott Pilgrim, the one that made that uh, Streets of... Uh, Rage yeah. game. Not my type of game, but look, I love me some beat 'em ups. Why would you play this more then? I mean, I got tired of playing. I kept beating the game over and over. I oh, you already beat the game. If I'm not mistaken, I think Metalhead is somewhere on the art of that too. I could be wrong, but I know he. I think he's in that game. But uh, yeah, guys. Um, I would get if I were to rate that one, I would give it a A plus. I'll give it an A plus. 
But anyways, we're going to keep it moving and grooving to the next episode, which is episode 7, titled Monkey Brains. So let's do this. It's going to make sure you know who the hell Uh-oh. Okay, Stretch. shit. Get it? Stretch. Baby. Uh, they we can be over there doing control. that little shit. Right. Uh-oh. You don't defend against Shionagi with backflips. Why not? Backflips are where it's at. The best defense is to roll along my back, then take me to the ground and put me in the ground. let this man do what he want to do. Of right. Counter with a hey, man, you can't take the fire out of the... <laughs> Master Splinter, what would you do if someone tried to throw you at Shionagi? I don't know. Come on, the... you must have a response for every attack. If you think too much about what is coming, you lose sight of what it is. You must be fully in the moment so you can fight without thinking. Amen. Uh, fight without thinking. Allow me to demonstrate. Prepare to defend against the Seonage. Hoi! Yo, I'm no. telling you, prepare to defend no. against this ass woman. Right now, would you like to prepare to defend against a spinning back kick? No. Mm. A good plan. Yeah, get April to hang out with me. <laughs> really, you need all Is that. that? <laughs> Try this. April, do you want to hang out with me? I was just about to say that. It's not that simple. It, it actually is always that simple. I have response to maximize my chances of success. Aww, that's so romantic. <laughs> yeah, that looks so cute. If April mm-hmm. says she can't because she has homework, and I will suggest an informal study session and serve healthy brain stimulating snacks. Hey, hey what is a high school? Camp because you're yeah, a and this nerd. is, I guess. Ah, that's like a school. Deal. I will list my many non nerdy qualities and suggest activities that will highlight my coolness, such as skateboarding or shark wrestling. Guys! Yeah! <laughs> the fuck is that space? Oh, wow. You guys gotta check this out. Let's start those Star Wars. He's probably really supposed to be. Neurochemist Dr. Tyler Rockwell has been reported missing. Fear the worst. Police say. I don't know. This nigga like he putting on. He do. So, the crime has been hit by from all over the city, including my dad. Maybe that's what happened to this Rockwell guy. Or they may not be connected at all. There's only one way to find out. We should go to that lab and look around. April's right. We should go check it out. What's that? You guys are busy? Guess it's just the two of us, April. <laughs> Like that? Come on, bro. You ain't gonna leave your bros hanging like I that. That was an honest flow chart. Whoa. Damn. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him looking. That's gotta be Raphael looking all angry. Right, Mike looking all clueless and shit. What you got there, man? Muted. Oh, wow. Mom! Mm. This nigga really. Damn. Oh. You I knew it. was gonna defeat the Ninja Turtle with a golf club. What are you? Relax, I'm not gonna hurt you. You already hurt me. Mm. I mean, anymore. We're here to help. I'm sorry, I wish I knew something about your father, but I don't. So what can you tell us about this? Some shady corporate goon paid Rockwell a lot of money to experiment with it. This the guy? That's him. The Krang. Well, I wanted no part of that stuff. Who knows? Yeah, bullshitikus. (laughs) (laughs) Bullshitikus. Is that what was in that cage over there? Shit, it must prime. Monstrosities? Can we ease up on the M word, please? Rated M for mature. Monkey he was experimenting on. Whoa. But she didn't like being locked up in there. He seemed to be telling the truth. Mm. But. The crane didn't take Rockwell. Mm. Maybe the monkey went berserk, busted out of the cage, and dragged him off. What flash drive? Wow. Teenage Mutant Ninja Monkey. Nice. Yeah. You don't see that, aren't you a ninja? Aren't you supposed to be like super aware? Right, it's about to look like a Jackie Link's beef jerky commercial over here, man. Let's go. Careful, Donnie! That's a dangerous mutant! That makes two of us. (laughs) There you go. I'm a love making martial arts machine. Oh, wow. Don't let him break your shit. Well, you need backup. I mean, you should not have left your brothers behind. Right. Get beat up in front of a girl you like. Come here, white girl. You know I love me some girls. Especially when I'm in an eight form. That must be him. The dude. 
Yep. Yeah, I thought so. It's okay. Everything's going to be all right. What? What is it? <laughs> like that? I guess monkey business. Yeah, the doctor, Donnie, the other doctor turned the other doctor into that yeah, and tried to cover himself and say he ran off. And my internal organs. <laughs> Donnie, you're gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Just don't worry in that case <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was going to happen wow poor guy he got beat up in front of his little crush by a monkey in front of your girlfriend she's not my girlfriend and that monkey was a vicious mutant yeah I'm sure he went bananas <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, no 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 he went eight I love this version of Leo I was going to say is this what it's like to have brothers? And then I'm like, I have a brother. Right. <laughs> Me too. It was you are mine. very intelligent. But in a fight, you cannot be up here. But I just don't understand how you can fight without thinking. You just got to be ready for it. Mm. I do. So. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. See, that's how I love with my Mikey. Mikey does not think. Thank you. Only if he would think of that as a compliment. Yeah. Right? It's more like he was reading our emotions. After all, he was only hostile when Donnie was hostile. Yeah, well, next time I'll be sure to think friendly thoughts while I'm beating a little sunshine into him. There you go. Okay. A little sunny D. Down before he attacks someone else. Let's go up to the surface, spread out, and search. How are we going to stay in contact? I have a little something that might help. Gentlemen and lady, I give you the tea phone. Yes, let's go. I'm in charge of naming stuff. Right. I would have called it the tea phone. Hell yeah. I did call it the tea phone. You didn't call it the tea phone good enough. The So I'll be playing mobile games and shit. Aren't they all supposed to have one of those? Or just I don't know. It's like they all usually skateboard, but it seems like they kind of reserve some of that for Mikey since he's like the dude version. Even though that's how all of them were back in the day. It's like rap has never been this mean. Well, yes, he has. I think he's trying to leave them somewhere. Yeah, seems that way. Oh. Just need to talk, man. Conflicted right now. I don't know if I should beat y'all ass or work with y'all. <laughs> How? I think this is Dr. Rockwell. Sure ain't Ducky Call. Is there any way to get him back to normal? I wouldn't even know where to begin. But I'll see if there's a way to give him some semblance of a normal life. Pizza's here. Hey. I've been actually going to pizza. Is pizza oh, wow. still open? Mmm. Mmm. Musty pizza. I can't stop playing. <laughs> musty pizza. I can't stop playing. What, what are you going to do, man? Decisions must be made. <laughs> the struggle of every teenage boy. <laughs> right. Sorry we didn't get any closer to finding your dad, April. It's okay. So that game ain't going Everything nowhere, boy. You can come up here and eat. Another piece of the puzzle. Yeah, but psychic research? This is one weird puzzle. I am curious, April. How did you know the monkey was really a human? I don't know. Uh, sometimes I just... I just had the telepathy. Mm. And I tell it up with him. A woman's intuition. Uh, we're still not following you. So he, he was using that dude as an experiment. I out of that cage. Must have been Rockwell, which means Falco put him there, and he's been lying this whole time. That's right. You are always so dramatic. She's gonna make his eyes pop out of his fucking face. You keep on. Goodness, this is dark. Why would you do that? What the fuck? All right, Falco, we've had enough of your. So he's like Gorilla Grodd now. I wasn't going to. Yes, you were. I read your mind. We know it was you who mutated Rockwell. I used him as a guinea pig. Well, it didn't work. You turned him into a monkey. 
psychic neurochemical I extracted from his mutant brain is changing me. Your minds are opening up to me. So this was your plan all along? Of course. No man can defeat you when you know his every thought. I'm gonna smack the white off my lab coat. <laughs> I was gonna say, smack the white off my ass? Right. I think not. Nice. Oh, that's clean. But can you fight though? Do you got hands? Let me guess. What's the name's gonna have to get him? He's gonna have to fight without thinking. Mikey or Donnie? Uh, Donnie. Because he was the one struggling with it earlier. Yeah. It's kind of the, the flow of this show. One of the turtles is struggling with something. But I don't know. I think he's going to have a hard time reading Mikey since Mikey doesn't think he's so unorthodox. One of them is going to be the one. I'm going to defeat him if he can read our minds. No problem. I'm good at this. I just have to fight without thinking. Wait a minute. How do I fight without thinking? <laughs> right. Oh, no. Now I'm, I'm thinking. thinking exactly. No. Wow, come on, bro. Yeah, it's gonna have to happen. And who can read minds is unstoppable. Once I dispose of you, no Boy, one you need to get some clear eye drops. We'll see about that. Mm. Ooh, what? <laughs> uh. I can do this. Just have to fight without thinking. No thinking. No thinking. It is hard when you. Realize you're thinking. Hey, all these different outcomes. That's not what he's gonna do, though. Don't think, just do. There is no try. Okay. I still don't see how that worked or what he did exactly, but okay. Nice. <laughs> Get him. Destroy his life. Oh, he, he took advice from Mikey. He did a flip. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ooh! Okay! Yeah. Now put his ass in there. Please do. Oh, Donnie! Nice work! What did the damn order order on him for a second? Huh? Pretty cool. Now that we have the ooze, let's see what Falco knows about the crank. Huh? <laughs> I know psychic, but I think he's trying to thank us. Oh. Um, if he reacts to angry thoughts, is New York City really the best place for him? Exactly. Hey, monkey, get off <laughs> Look, that's what I'm saying. New York City yeah, is sure. not the place for somebody. <sighs> yeah. Hey, April. You uh, want to hang out tonight? Uh, that sounds great, Donnie, but I can't. I'm training with Splinter to be a Kuno Beach. Oh. It's more like Kanoichi, but okay. Splinter to be a Kuno Well then, maybe we can train together sometime. That's right, sounds girl. Great. I can show you how to do a proper backflip. <laughs> My flowchart is awesome! Ow! Gotta hand it to the guy. That's dedication right there, man. I mean, hey, to put that all together and actually read it when she rejects you and right. get her to not reject you. Exactly, man. That's that's a pretty, I guess, uh, good thing he did there. I don't know. Yeah, you know, and that was like the perfect preamble to, to this episode. Like, what exactly was going to happen? Because like, oh, man, you thinking too much. You trying to lay out a whole... Right, and that's <laughs> what I can tell. You can tell this is a children's show. But it has so many good undertones It is a really it. good show, but that's the thing I'm noticing. The more we watch this, the, the differences between American cartoons and, and anime in Japan. Yeah. I don't want to... Well, I don't want to say that one country... His children's minds must be more advanced than the other, but they have way more advanced themes in anime that I've seen that's for kids mm -hmm. versus American cartoons is a little different. They both have their things. It's like they're yeah. the same format on every episode so far, but then again, anime does that too. They have certain formats that they use for their shows. But this, in, in this case, it's like one of them is having a problem at the beginning. So they talk to Splinter about it. They get some advice. They run into, you know, an issue where they didn't they, they didn't take the advice. Yeah. And then at the very end, the last little fight scene, they use the advice and they win. So Exactly. Kind of, you know, this happened in that one too. Uh, that happened in this one too. But 
I like how it happens. So I like the whole process that we go through to get there. And then, you know, they end up better at the end. So yeah. this was a good episode. I will give it. Um, I kind of want to. I'm going to give it an A+. I'm going to give it an A+. Yeah, I'm giving that A plus too, man. I really like this because it seems like, if anything else, it's gearing them up to prepare for a bigger threat later on down the line, which we think is ultimately going to be Shredder or somebody even more capable of fighting. You know what I'm saying? You never know with TMNT. They change this shit up so much that it's crazy because in the 03 version, like the 03 cartoon, Shredder and Crane are one and the same. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking this nigga human, then to kind of find out he got like the little crane thing up in his stomach. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it it varies from time to time. But this one, like in this one, Shredder is working with Crane. He with might be. Crane. Well, yeah, that's I know that's how it was in the original one too. You know, mm-hmm. he he always allies himself with Crane, and sometimes Crane do him dirty or something. Yeah. So yeah, um, I, I think we're gonna understand more going forward what this ooze really entails. You know what I'm saying? Because the ooze. It's always been connected to the turtles, and it's always been the problematic thing of the entire franchise, you know. And sometimes it comes from different locations, whether it be uh, this place called Dimension X, which is basically like these alternate dimensions where all the turtles coexist. So it makes all the turtles canonical in a sense, you know. They're just different realities, you know what I'm saying? So we're probably going to dive into that later on, but I have a nagging suspicion that they're going to start setting up for some of that. So, uh, yeah, really enjoying this show, guys. Um, A++. Really like the premise of this, and I'm liking where they're going, man. Hopefully they just dive deeper, because it seems like they can go there in terms of darkness, because this dude, he was on some dark, nefarious stuff. That's pretty dark and nefarious to turn a person who was supposed to be your friend or colleague into a whole monkey Mm. and you just have a straight face and just, you know, they're probably going to run into that guy again. Yeah, you know, you already know. They got to. They're going to because he ran off. So, right. Yeah, definitely a good episode. Um, And yeah, definitely did get dark. On this one, I'm pretty sure he's going to yeah, be Yeah, because that, that monkey didn't even have a happy ending, man. He, okay, he No, them. he just ran off into the night and almost got ran over by a crazed driver. Right. You know, not a good ending. Not no. a good ending at all. But I do like how everybody encountered these guys. They'd be like, man, okay, you a turtle. Whatever. It ain't like the old ones. Like, oh, shit. Oh, what am I going to do? What is this? But uh, right. it's like oh, it's like nigga, this is New York. You didn't see one thing. You didn't see everything. Shit. Right, like, Spider Man, bitch ass. Right, I'm like literally everything bad that happens in any show or movie or cartoon in the United States happens in New York or California. Right, they'll fit right in if this is a Marvel comic book or something. Right. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, if there's anything that we may have missed or gotten misconstrued, please be sure to provide the proper context in the comment section below without spoiling us. And yeah. This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, my lovely wife Jenny Lee on the ones and twos. We'll see you guys on the next reaction to TMNT 2012. Peace.